Shorty fast, slim, thick. She my drug. She my What's up, YouTube? What's really going on with y'all? I am back with the Naya news. I know y'all probably like, sis, where you been at? I mean, I just graduated on Saturday, and I'm sorry, y'all. I have been so busy. I've been so busy with like graduation, getting ready for the end of the year, things of that nature. But I am back, and my videos are about to be consistent again. I'm so sorry for the inconsistency. But to get into the video though, today I thought a good way to jump back into things would to be talking about some dating advice specifically teen dating advice so of course i'm probably the only one who hasn't seen this or experienced it but in high school especially you see a lot of toxic relationships you see a lot of things that are not supposed to go on and some of that is due to lack of knowledge some of that is due to some people not wanting to be lonely some of that is due to self-esteem and some people feel like they can't find any better than that but today i just want to give some tips on how to keep a positive relationship if you do want to be in a relationship during your teenage years or just probably in a relationship period so to get into it my first tip is that remember that you are young and get to know yourself so during dating i'm not saying you should date to waste your time but a lot of times when you're dating people you're getting to know what you like how what attracts you to a person you know things of that nature what do you like to do with this person what activities do you enjoy to do by yourself so that way if they add what else they ask you like going on dates and stuff where do you like to go you already know where you like to go or what do you expect that it also teaches like what do you expect out of a person what do you expect them to do you know, what do you expect them to have? Things of that nature. My second one was, they are not your piece. So I know a lot of times in today's society, like it portrays relationships as this person being your happiness or this person being your peace. But things can't go like that. Like at the end of the day, I'm not saying like teenage relationships don't last. But point blank, period, like you, even if it's not a relationship, you cannot depend on people to be your peace or your happiness because to be all the way real, people die. Like it's sad to say, but people die. So you have to have that peace within yourself. You have to have peace within yourself in order to be peaceful with somebody else. Because at the end of the day, even if you're not, if you're not happy with yourself, it's going to be really difficult for you to be happy with somebody else. That's just really what it is too. Three treat your dating like y'all dating stop treating your boyfriend or girlfriend like they're your husband or your wife and they're not so to get all the way real with y'all this is this is my advice but i wouldn't involve sex simply because nine times out of ten this is not going to be the person you marry and you also have to understand that sex is a soul time once you bond with those people you bond with them forever so they stuck with you. And sometimes the people that you attracted to as a kid can be really toxic people. And you don't see the toxic attributes that they bring till later. Or you don't see until it affects you so harshly. So don't, don't make such a permanent decision off some temporary feelings that you have for that person. You know what I'm saying? Like... Even though it can be tempting, like especially in a society, especially how acceptable it's seen as, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it for yourself. Don't do it to your spirit. Like beyond, that's yes. what I'm saying. So beyond STDs and pregnancies, there are serious soul ties out here. And I'm telling you, nine times out of ten, the person that you love or in love with that high school is not the person you don't want to be bonded with forever. So think wisely. Think wisely when it comes to your spirit and your forever, okay? okay? Then you got four. Set your standards for that person. You know, I think it, it's like a stigma against, oh, I'm not going to teach a person how to treat me. Sometimes you do. Like, for an example, something with me. I'm not dating right now, but this is just something that I would require of a person. Me personally, I believe a dude should open up the door for me. A lot of girls in today's society do not expect that. They don't think that they should have to open up a door. They'll just get in the car. No problem. They'll just walk in the house. No problem. They'll just walk in the building. No problem. 
Me personally, that's something I expect. So I'm going to let the dude know. If he don't already know, I'm going to let him know beforehand. I'm not going to go nowhere with you if you don't get out the car and open up the door for me. Make sure it's shut. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want that type of, if you don't want that type of pressure, and it's really not pressure, it's really courtesy. But if you don't want this, uh, that type of pressure, so to say, then you don't want to date me. So you're going to have to set your standards for that person. Don't just take anything somebody is willing to give you. You have to know who you are. Honey, I know I'm a queen. So if he's not willing to treat me like a queen, then he got to go. But I'm also going to teach him too. Like, this is what I expect. Now, it's one thing if he's not willing to do it. Okay. Then he can leave. But sometimes you do have to give people that cheat sheet of this is what I expect. Simply because everybody's not like you. Every girl they've ever had to deal with is not going to be like you. Every girl didn't expect the same thing as you are. Every boy didn't expect the same thing as you. So you can't just think like, oh, well, they should know everything to do. No, they're not going to know everything to do. Just like you're not going to know everything they wouldn't expect you to do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have to teach each other. Fifth is to be understanding. You guys are still teenagers. Y'all still living in somebody else's house. Y'all still going to high school. So just understand that people are going to be busy. People are going to be busy. People are going to have other things to do in their life. Now, I'm not saying that if somebody does want to talk to you, they're not going to make time. They are going to make time. They are going to make time, if that made sense. I hope I didn't contradict myself. But people who want to talk to you will make time to talk to you. But I'm also saying is, what I'm also saying is, they're not probably going to be able to talk to you 24-7. Like, y'all not going to be able to be texting all day long. People are going to have other things to do. And that is understandable. That is very much so understandable. Just like you're going to have a life, they're going to have a life too. Okay. Six. Do not let your relationship stop you from chasing other opportunities. Like, don't let that stop you from doing school activity. Oh, I want to spend time with my boyfriend. So, I don't want to do this at school. Like, no. Enjoy yourself. Yes, it's okay to spend time with your boyfriend. Yes, it's okay to spend time with your girlfriend. But also enjoy yourself. Chase opportunities. Don't, don't let that be the reason you're not going to certain programs or you're not joining certain clubs. Don't block your blessings. These boyfriend and girlfriends are not going to be your life. It's not a guarantee. They're not going to be here. They're not going to be here. They're going to be here in the next year. You know what I'm saying? So don't wrap your whole life around these people. And seven, I think this is going to be my final tip for this video is enjoy the person. Have fun. Like, you know, everybody is unique in their own way. So this is, if like, I'm not saying y'all have to break up, but it may come a time where y'all do break up. Not to say they do anything bad to you, but y'all may just grow apart. So enjoy the person while they're in your life. It's a reason why they're in your life right now. So have fun. Have fun. Have a good time. And I'm not saying this video like, you don't have to date in high school. You are still young. You don't have to date. You know what I'm saying? This is really tough for you to get to know yourself. You to, you to get you together. But some people do date in high school. And I'm not knocking them either. I just wanted to give some advice and tips with things I noticed so I can be helpful and allow for some people to understand, like, what are some positive attributes, what are some things to expect, you know, how to have that successful relationship. But, yeah, so this is just a couple of tips. I hope it was helpful. I'm definitely back. I'm back and I'm better. Y'all knew what it was. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all already know what it is. Act like y'all know. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video.